So this is some new footage of Dead Rising 4. Um, thanks to Polygon, who I believe uh, was the originator of this footage, we're just going to have a look um, at, uh, at this. So this was... The original Dead Rising was originally released for the Xbox 360 in 2006 by Capcom. Um, it's produced by Kaiji Inafune, famous for Mega Man and perhaps less impressively Mighty Number no. 9. Um, it was the uh, the sequel was out for the 360, the PlayStation 2, and the PC by Blue Castle Games, and then there was a spin-off and a third game in 2013 by Capcom Vancouver, which is exclusive to the Xbox One and the PC. Um, now, Dead Rising 4 is also by Capcom Vancouver, so if you liked the uh, the spin-off and the third game, then this may be the one for you. Well, that's the hope, anyway. Well, let's hope so. Yes. Uh, the game is, in fact, subject, um, even though it's been marketed as being exclusive to the Xbox One and PC, it is actually subject to the same deal as Rise of the Tomb Raider. So it's therefore, in fact, a timed exclusive. So expect a PlayStation 4 version of this to appear around about a year or so after this release. So um, Microsoft had their checkbook out then. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, they've been been buying up their exclusivity deals. So it this could be as early as Christmas 2017 because it's currently expected out um, in Christmas of 2016. Mm. Uh, now the PC version will be a Windows Store exclusive because it's part of Microsoft's new Play Anywhere initiative. This is uh, where if you buy uh, the Xbox One version of a game, you also get the uh, Windows 10 version and vice versa. Um, you will probably notice that photographer Frank West has returned from the first two games. It's still set in Colorado, but this time it's at Christmas. How festive. There's going to be a four-player co-op mode this time around, so you'll be able to play alongside characters from earlier installments. The timer gimmick has, thank God, been ditched. I hated that timer gimmick. It ruined the original games for me. I hate timer things in any game, really. Just anything with a countdown on it. It just put this unnecessary pressure on you. It's, it's, it's ostensibly an open-world game, mm -hmm. and when you've got this... I mean, the early games were, you know, things like shopping centres and so forth. You just, all you wanted to do was, because there's quite a lot of freedom in what you could do, you just wanted to go and explore and uh, experiment, and you couldn't really do that because of this stupid timed system. But, you know, thank goodness that's gone. The game is otherwise similar to its predecessors in that it's ostensibly open world, as I mentioned. It's a third person zombie slasher, plenty of blood, fair amount of photography. And presumably a soupçon of cross-dressing because uh, for some reason the, the past games have included that. Um, it's currently due for release on the 6th of December 2016, which I would assume means it's right for slippage because that does tend to be the way these things go. So you can see in the footage there, um, it's, it's kept its sense of humour. The previous games have... Um, sort of delighted in giving you really inventive ways to kill the zombies and as you can see he's, he's sitting on a uh, sit down lawnmower with flamethrowers flame flame <laughs> attached because you know can you think of a better way to deal with zombies than that? I really can't no. Um, Apart all, from get a little girl to shoot them you know. <laughs> indeed yeah. yeah I mean all, all you need uh, all you need is to put Frank in a dress there and uh, <laughs> what what more could you want? But I mean, it's very different than The Last of Us, where um, you know it's very on edge and stuff. Where this looks very fast going and comical. Yeah, oh, it's a very different game to The Last of Us. Yeah. So anyway, um, if you're a fan of the earlier installments, I'm sure you'll be uh, eager to see what's coming up. And there's just a few uh, screenshots to finish off. We're going to shut up now. We'll play that same footage again, so you can watch it without the commentary. But who the hell wants to listen to us prattle anyway? Do please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and we'll catch you in the next video.
Now what? It opens a door nearby. Come on. Come on. They're not going anywhere. Well, we'll have to see how it's done. 